one of my favorite things about setting up for Christmas is setting up the nativity scene in my parents' house. It was handed down to us from my paternal grandparents. And it was a gift to my grandmother from her father. As a Canadian immigrant, he didn't really have much money to buy what we would consider a proper Christmas present. So he used what he knew to build her a nativity set for Christmas. And it has lasted all these years. We use it to this very day. We all know about the nativity story, whether we read it in sacred scripture or we just hear it on Christmas day. Mary and Joseph go to Bethlehem to participate in the census of Caesar Augustus. And while they're there, Mary gives birth to our Lord, wraps him in swaddling clothes and puts him in a manger. But what isn't said in this is the hidden meaning that Bethlehem translated means house of bread. And our Lord was put into a feeding trough for animals. Later in the Gospels in John chapter 6, we hear the bread of life discourse where our Lord says, I am the bread of life. So the bread of life was born in the house of bread and he was put into a feeding trough and all came to adore him. One of my favorite Christmas movies to watch this time of year is The Little Drummer Boy. And it's centered around the nativity. This little boy, he doesn't have material gifts to give like the three wise men do, but he pours out from his heart. It always makes me laugh that he thinks that in this moment, it's great to pull out a drum and to start singing loudly. I don't know too many parents that would be happy about that, but Mary and Joseph were. This little boy pours out from his heart and he gives this gift from the heart to adore our Lord. And we are asked to do the same thing. It's not about the material gifts, but it is about pouring out from our heart and giving it all for the honor and glory of our Lord. Whether we are adoring our Lord in the manger on Christmas day, or whether we are adoring our Lord veiled under the appearance of bread and reposed in the tabernacle every single day. We are asked to pour out from our heart and give the gift of our heart for our Lord. Praise be Jesus Christ, our Lord, now and forever. Mm -hmm.